Hi everybody, it's Gila here and I am back with a new process video. This time I'm using mostly, um, well, yeah, sort of anyway, <laughs> their Lizzie Stargazer collection. Um, and I have here a strip of the sort of flower pot pattern. Uh, as a background, I'm going to use the Simple Stories uh, wood. It comes, I think it's called Basics, comes with a lot of wood grain patterns. And I love that set and... Uh, I think I've used it up. I think I have one paper left or something. Yeah, they are amazing. So anyway, I'm going to use a really dark one here with these three photos. And uh, yeah, so the inspiration here is, you can see we have a photo of, it's my aunt in the, um, down there. And then there's a kitchen. <laughs> it's a kitchen. <laughs> it's a photo from the kitchen. And then from, uh, we had like a barbecue in the late summer. So it's a picture of the table with all the food and um, I didn't really have a collection of us like a barbecue in late summer. I know it's a very specific collection that I don't have. I don't really know if it exists. But I thought this flower pot pattern would be perfect because my aunt, she loves plants and uh, I thought it was really fun. So I'm going to use that uh, as a border and then I have also fussy cut a few of them. and. Uh, they were a bit tricky to fussy cut because they are quite like the flourish parts of them, but I'm really happy with how they came out. Um, now it's not my best fussy cutting job ever, um, and I wish I had that you know the cutting machine where you like scan in it uh, and then that fussy cuts for you. Yeah, I think I have to get one of those when I get really rich. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm going to use the uh, part of the title is going to come from this uh, thicker pack from the Stargazer collection and it just says hello and I thought it looks like she says hello there in the photo so I'm going to go with that <laughs> and then I'm going to use you and that is from the Take Me Away by Paige Evans and that like I'm trying to use up the thickers. So here I have the fussy cut flowers and at, at first I thought I was going to lay them on top like a shelf in the kitchen but then I decided to sort of spread them out a bit. Um, so we get like a few clusters. Here we have puffy stickers. I love puffy stickers like a lot. And here you can see that's done. Ah it's really nice. I have used it up. I have used the whole thing up. It took me forever. <laughs> Almost. Um, but yeah, I think it's like that feeling when you like, I have used it up. I have an S left from the last layout. Um, I'm not going to save that S ever. <laughs> uh, it feels really, really nice, I have to say. Um, so I'm going to add some uh, foam dots behind these little pots just to lift them up because they're just paper I want them to have a bit of dimension um, the hello word is chipboard but it's a very thin chipboard which actually if you want to use that like in Traveler's Notebook or something they are perfect because you get a bit of texture in there but they're not very thick so yeah um, <laughs> I was going to say something really clever about dimension and it's very clever so I forgot about it. Uh, so I'm going to scatter my flowers here and I decide to have it in three places because you're supposed to have stuff in three I suppose. Um, and uh, I had a bit of a trouble because one of the flowers that I tried to <laughs> place it looked the same on the paper just below where it sat so I had to shift it a bit. Um, and this vine I was like oh it doesn't really fit there I'm going to put it back and I was like when I was putting down these pots, I was like, no, use it up. Just use it up. Whatever it takes, use it up. <laughs> uh, so yeah, a priorities, you know. <laughs> but I'm really happy because then I got the that sort of white metallic that a uh, pearlescent sheen that is on the figures. I get it in three places because I'm going to use the heart too. So I'm really happy with that. <laughs> I fiddled quite a bit with it. Um, but it's going to end up there, so, yeah. Uh, so, that is that. Um, I'm really happy with how the flower potty thingies turned out. It's a very technical term. Uh, but I do really like it. And um, the 12 by 12 paper, you get a bunch of these flowers. Uh, 
and I think I might do this kind of idea again um, cutting them out and then have them on like shelves or something I really like that idea so I might have to do that I do have quite a lot of bit of the paper left so I think I might might do that not really sure what the layer will be about however <laughs> go around taking photos of all my plants maybe yeah so uh, now I'm just thinking about how to sort of add the final embellishments. Here I have a little greenhouse. It didn't really fit. She doesn't actually have a greenhouse in the summer house. So, uh, But then I decide these little birds are so cute. So in my clusters, all of them will have a little bird. And they will all sort of look into the, look into the page. So one we have on the title, we have one on the heart, and then I will have one on the branch looking down. I'm really happy with how these sort of all came together looking into the page. I'm going to add some enamel dots, and these are white with a bit of um, a bit of a, like a glitter or sparkly in it, and I really like that. So I'm going to use those, and then I realize when I start putting them down, like I don't have enough to put three of them in three different places. Um, with other words, I don't have nine. <laughs> so um, we'll have to go and search for them. And I do find one, look at here. When I buy my enamel dots, if I like them, I buy them like, oops, in a pack of five. Well, these I did anyway. I'm really happy I did because um, I use the white, blue and green quite a lot. <laughs> so yeah, and I really like that white against that really dark dark brown. So I'm going to add my journaling in a white gel pen and it's going to be just what I told you really uh, that we had a late uh, summer barbecue um, and that my brother he was uh, 12 or 13 at the time and he was grill master very good at it yep he could turn the beef, I mean that's what we use the boys for here in Sweden anyway, uh, to turn the beef because they're at least in the way there, so anyway. <laughs> so yeah, it was really nice. Uh, so I'm thinking here that I really like that white and I want to bring in more of that white against that dark background. So I'm thinking, well, I do have stamps, so I might be able to stamp something in white. Um, so I have here, it's a pigment ink from Umbrella Craft. Umbrella Craft, craft I don't know, uh, and I have a stamp it's from Studio Calico, I got it from their like huge sale that they had in later, um, early in the fall here, fall is <laughs> really, really, in the autumn, <laughs> and this one says Everyday Magic, and um, I have used this ink before, and I remember it, it's done quite bright white, um, so I don't know if I didn't ink it up properly, or if the background was really dark, but I have stamped it on black, so I don't really know, it was really faint, so, um, but yeah, I mean, you can read it, so it's not a really big deal, so I did that, and then I decided to, um, to add to my little cluster, so I'm going to add a little stamp set wood, it has like three little stars, and that's from the st same stamp set, um, so just like sort of where the, I have the enamel dots around there, and I'm thinking if I should add some mist to add some splatter, but I feel like as because I have the white dots and I, then I have the little stars, I don't need any more. Um, so that is going to be it. I'm going to add my date later when I find it. But yeah, that is it. Um, I hope you have liked the- oh, wait, wait. Oh, I'm adding the roller stamp too. This roller stamp is from the Stargaze collection. I don't think I've ever used a- roller uh, stamp there's not a date stamp this much as i've used this stamp i really like it so i add love little things uh yeah because i had a text i added um two more phrases so that's it uh, i'm really happy with how this came together i think it's so much i mean so much color in here because of that dark background you can really see all of the colors and here you can see i took the gold halishan up i put it back uh, I'm really happy with how it came out. Uh, I think it looks really like a uh, late summer barbecue fest. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have liked this video. If you want to see more, you can just head back to my channel and pick another layout if you want to see. Uh, and I hope to see you soon.